What's good YouTube, it's Jason back here with another video. As you can see from the title, I'm here in Glen Ora Farm. If you remember my last video, I came here in December. During the winter time, it was much, much different. This is the second time I'm coming here. It's so great to be back here, to get away from the city, to be away from everyone else, and kind of enjoy the nature. Beautiful to stay in this place called the Stargazing Dome. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link it at the top right here. I'll link it down below that last video. If you're in Ontario, you definitely need to check out this place. It's so beautiful. I'll show you around what it looks like right now. So, you have your dining area. In the winter time, you have this little wood burner stove. It's actually automatic. You have these things called pellets that you could just press a button and it will just put the pellets right in that little stove here and it will just burn and it will keep the heat up. You have a fridge here as well to store anything. You have your kitchen and your washroom here. So you have everything you need in terms of cleaning supply appliances. And then you have your shower here and then you have your little toilet here and everything is eco-friendly. You save water on that. One of the best parts of this entire dome is queen size bed on this little second floor, you want to call it. A window here that looks up in the sky. They call it the stargazing dome because you get to see the stars, whether it be summer, spring, fall. If the sky is clear and the stars are out, it's absolutely beautiful. It's really great to get some portraits here. They can really get some dope shots. And you got to be careful when you're coming down here. You have your living room. You have a whole couch here to chill. You have some card games. You have a book to write for other people to see. So some people came here last summer. A lot of people come here. It's one of the most popular places to go to. Couples come here, families come here. You got a chess set here, I, I love chess. And then you get a nice little toaster oven. You have your own pot here. I'm actually boiling some water because I'm making some KD. I love KD if you've known me for years. Have some pasta here. Gonna cook all this stuff, corned beef, I love corned beef and you know me I love myself some rice always love rice so it has everything you need you check in here you have even a skillet and a frying pan you have all the utensils you need forks knives cooking utensils spatula it's all here it's such a beautiful place the next night I'm here for two nights I'm staying here for the first night at the stargazing dome the second night I'm here I'm gonna be at the Explorers tent so I get to show you the tent as well if this is your first time seeing Glenora farm what it is like to be here then you're in for a really good welcoming to Glenora farm you're in a literally in the middle of a forest here and have a big farm around here you could actually go and they also have horseback riding which is really dope last time I came here as well I went horseback riding I don't know what the plans are what I want to do much different in the summertime or even the spring right now where the weather is beautiful you go on hikes I show you around the property it's a fun little getaway vlog that I normally don't I always get to do thank you again to Glenora farm for this the staycation go on their Instagram at Glenora farm they have a lot of creators come here To take some time to show you what it looks like from the outside how big this dome is don't know the dimensions of it it's so much bigger than you think when you're inside compared to outside the dome is absolutely sick great spacing much bigger than you would expect it to be this the property is so big it's about 200 acres you have a tent the explorers tent another tent from over there so they're really spread out it's very quiet here hiking so much places to explore they're really spaced out there's another tent there and it's just so quiet it's so peaceful i'm sure there's a lot of animals that come around this area if you're really into nature 
and hiking. This is the spot you need to go to. It's a once in a lifetime experience you get to do, especially in Ontario, it's near Barrie. So it's only like an hour outside of Toronto or the GTA area. Take advantage while you can this summer before the winter comes. Winter, it's still pretty cool. There's a lot of mosquitoes actually around. So you gotta be prepared for mosquitoes as well. Day two here at Glen Ore Farm. I just finished the first night here at the Stargazing Dome. I didn't really film too much after I came here. I had a good breakfast. I had coffee. They have a French presser here. Again, it's kind of what the Stargazing Dome looks like to kind of give you one last look, have everything packed up. They have a really cool chess set. I forgot to show this off. I forgot to show this last night. I really like chess, and these are some really cool chess pieces. I have one similar to this set. The king piece looks really cool here. That's really dope. There's the queen. Really cool. If you like chess, there's a really cool chess set to have. If you don't know what chess is, you have the bishops, you have the pawns, you have the knights, you have the rooks, or castles as you call them. Really cool. Beautiful day. It got a bit chilly this morning. Checking out of this stargazing dome, I'm gonna go to the explorer's tent. We'll show you that, show you what the difference is between this dome and the tent. It's more of a real camping style, but luxurious. Same thing, they have a bed, they have a couch, they have a table, they have probably a chest set probably. They have a shower, kitchen. This is so much different than a regular camping where you have to make a campfire. You can make a campfire outside. This is just more different. So this is the Explorer's Tent, such a beautiful place, beautiful space, the workspace. You have couch, you have tables. This is a wood stove burner. You have to do it manually with firewood and you have some firewood starters. Another chess set actually, same one. So they really like their chess here, they like the board games. So overall, this is a really cool space. Definitely come check this place out as well when you get a chance to come to Glen Ore Farm. This is a new place that you just developed is a banquet hall and I'm here with one of the employees. What is your name? My name is Danielle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And how old is this place? You were uh, talking off camera. Yeah, so it was uh, just finished last Thursday actually. We wow. had our first wedding on Thursday afternoon. Just see the area? This is the banquet hall. It's actually, how big is this place? I'm actually not sure. That's a question <laughs> for Luke. <laughs> yeah, Luke, if you remember Luke from the last video, he's a manager here. This is a really beautiful banquet hall. You can have receptions, weddings, smells brand new obviously yeah, you can still smell the wood in the steam yeah scene. yeah it's yeah. really hot it's ac and heating so uh, it does cool down yeah uh, the ac is just not on right now because we're not using it so of course of course you have like the dj set up yep and the bar is just behind you here the bar amazing free alcohol free <laughs> bar sometimes sometimes it's up to the bride and groom but yes and how many people roughly are uh, we can host up to 200 people up to 200 people yep. and then you have like the whole field in the background yep, there's and then there's also a little patio out here. Beautiful lighting, by the way, for photos. So a little patio. So normally when there's a wedding, we have it all set up. There's uh, little cushions that we put on the chairs and stuff, so it makes it a little bit prettier. And obviously people get flower arrangements and stuff, so it brightens it up quite a bit too once the flowers are in there. So Dope. makes for a really pretty space. You could tell this is all like really brand new and then all this entire field. Yeah, mm. you definitely get some great pictures out here for sure. Yeah, and how often do you have weddings now? How um, are you planning? We have another one coming up in uh, June. So we're just starting to get them booked, but we do have a few over the summer. So Amazing. it's definitely starting to pick up now that we've got this event space. To remind, because the last time there was four new domes being built, yep. how many domes do they have now? So um, with the four new domes, they're not quite ready, but they will be ready soon. So that'll bring us up to 14. We have five uh, Stargazer domes and five Explorer tents, and then we'll have the four Galaxy and that can fit four people instead of two people. Yep, they have with... two king size beds and they have a full kitchen in them as well. Is it open to see it? Yeah, we could probably go take a look at one. I'm not sure if they're they're not quite done yet, so I don't think they have their furniture in them. Of course, but at least but give can... them a yeah. preview. Yep, yeah, for sure. Thank you. This is really cool. It's like twice the size of yeah, a dome I was in. So it's half done. But you can see, so there's gonna be a kitchen in here. Come around, this will be your living room and there's going to be walk up stairs on the other side. Oh yeah, there's going to be two separate ladders. That's actually the stairs. The stairs. The stairs I'm not sure where they have them yet. So it's supposed to be stairs going up to it. Oh, that's so cool. This is what I was told. That'll make it a little bit easier, I think, for people to get up. And then there's the two more up there. So there's one kind of way back in there. Yeah, so there's one right there, as she said. There's one peak in the back. There's another one right behind. So there's four total. Go follow them on Instagram at Glen Ora Farm.
It's the last day here at Glen Oral Farm. About to pack up soon. I'm actually making some coffee in the French press. If you don't know how to use it, it's my second time using a French presser, really. You put the coffee beans in the French presser here. You put two tablespoons of coffee beans. You boil some water and then you fill it up. I don't know how much you want to put in. Then you put a timer for four minutes and then you press it. So after four minutes, I'm gonna show you what to do when you're pressing it so you get the best coffee possible through a French presser. Four minutes is over, this cap over. When you're pressing now, when you reach to the water level, you gotta be very slow. The coffee beans doesn't come out and it gets into your coffee and you wanna extract the most out of it as possible. And then just pour your coffee. And look how beautiful that coffee looks. I drink my coffee black, no milk, no cream, no sugar. Just simple black coffee. That ends it for me here at Glen Oral Farm. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to come out here, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and also don't forget to follow me on my socials. I've been posting a bit of behind the scenes content as I do for every video that I do on filming days. I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you in the next video, and until next time, peace out.